Hi, this is Madison Battaglia, and we are here with Dean Marvin Chun. Thank you so much for joining us. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So can you please tell us a little bit about your background as the head of Berkeley College and professor of neuroscience? Uh, sure, I've been here at Yale for uh, 17 years uh, as a professor of psychology, um, where I do teaching and research. My teaching is um, Introduction to Psychology um, is my primary course, and I also teach seminars in neuroethics. Um, so I've been doing that for about 17 years. Uh, I'm also a researcher, and my research is mainly uh, in neuroscience. I use uh, functional brain imaging uh, to try to try to decode the mind. Mm -hmm. uh, is how I like to phrase it. Starting in 2007, I uh, gained my most significant administrative experience, serving as uh, the master of Berkeley College uh, for nine years uh, before stepping down in 2016. Um, I took a, year, a year's break as a sabbatical, um, and then uh, after that I, I became dean this year. Can you tell us a little bit about why you decided to take the position as dean? Over my time as a professor and as a, um, as a college master, college mm -hmm. head, um, I really came to love Yale and the Yale students. Mm -hmm. um, and so to be able to serve in this capacity uh, as dean of Yale College is uh, you know, it's, it's a huge honor, mm -hmm. uh, and it's a great opportunity for mm -hmm. me. What would be some of the biggest challenges you've faced so far? It just takes a lot of work, and it takes a lot of people to make this place run well mm -hmm. and run smoothly, and for us to be um, uh, you know, a terrific uh, place for our students and mm -hmm. for our faculty. I've been spending my first three months meeting with students, uh, reading actually a lot of former YCC reports okay. on areas where students are calling for some improvements and reform, mm -hmm. and also areas where faculty or heads, um, college heads or college deans are calling for mm -hmm. uh, improvements. Uh, I think one very current example is this concern that many students are moving off campus, mm -hmm. and so we're, we're looking into ways to make living in, uh, in the college is more appealing mm -hmm. for a broader group of students. Uh, another thing that we're looking at is uh, credit defail reform. Um, Yale College Council has been researching and proposing uh, this idea that that deadline should be a little later in the mm -hmm. term. Um, and I, th I think there's a lot of merit in that idea. And so I go around uh, talking with faculty and talking with students mm -hmm. about what we can do in that regard. I hear from students about how we need more late dining options. And mm -hmm. so I talk with Yale Dining about uh, those uh, talk about that possibility. Absolutely. So these are just a few examples of areas where I'm hearing of issues from students mm -hmm. and we're working with um, pretty much everyone on campus to try to find the best way to address them. And are there any main projects that you are personally working on? I don't have any huge initiatives um, uh, planned yet. I'm, I'm actually, and that's on purpose, I want to spend my first year really uh, learning the job. Um, I, I guess I can share one yeah. um, initiative that will be, um, that will be, um, it's, it's just fun. Um, but one thing that was very popular at Berkeley College um, was this meal called Thunder Brunch, which is basically an over-the-top uh, brunch meal. Uh, and it was so popular that students would even line up for 30 minutes before mm -hmm. the dining hall room opened. And most importantly, uh, once they got into the dining hall, they would sit for like an hour or two hours just eating and mm -hmm. enjoying the company. Um, and so I, I, it was very popular in Berkeley, and, um, and it's something that I, I feel is community building. Mm -hmm. um, it also highlights the, the kind of the outstanding culinary skills of, of Yale dining, mm -hmm. and so I um, so I think we're going to be able to offer this for all of Yale sophomores. Okay. Um, it's it's too too big of a pro, uh, expensive to do for all four years at once, but I think if we offer it for all Yale sophomores, I think it'll be another kind of destination event mm -hmm. uh, that sophomores currently lack. Are there any main short or long term like aspirations for Yale or new goals that like have come up and been a main focus? When high school students or when the general public looks at Yale, I want them to see Yale as a place where it's the best place to get a broad liberal education. I want this to be viewed as a place where there's an extremely vibrant extracurricular um, uh, life. And, and of course, I think we have the best residential college system mm -hmm. in the world. And, uh, and so when people think, oh, that model, you know, that, that sense of community is something I want in college, I want Yale to be at the top of their list. Thank you so much for sitting down with us, Dean Chun. Um, and from everyone here at YTV, thank you for watching.